A super genius scientist turns himself invisible, but instead of being a hero, becomes evil. Dr. Sebastian Kane is an extraordinarily bright microbiologist. He has been working on a formula for more than 11 months, but can't make it stable. Sebastian peeks onto her gorgeous neighbor for a while to distract his mind. Afterwards, he gets back to work. Suddenly, his unconscious mind clicks, and he makes the formula stable. Despite it being midnight, Sebastian calls her ex-girlfriend Dr. Linda, who's also his project mate. He informs her about the success, and asks her to reach the lab immediately, and also call Dr. Matthew. Sebastian doesn't know Linda is romantically involved with Matthew, and they are already living together. Matthew is also shocked at Sebastian's success, and believes that Linda should tell him about their relationship. However, Linda doesn't want the awkwardness among the project members, especially during a crucial moment right now. The next morning, Sebastian reaches the lab which is built underground with high security measures. Matthew is already at the lab and checks on lab animals. Some of the cages seem empty but they aren't. They hold the animals which were subjected to the experiment of turning a living being invisible. The biggest animal that went through the procedure is a gorilla named Isabel. Matthew wears thermography goggles to see her and tries giving her an injection. Isabel gets scared and attacks Matthew. Afterwards, she runs out of the cage. Sebastian reaches there too and takes down the gorilla with a single shot of tranquilizer gun. She has been invisible for days and it's affecting her temper. But Isabel's suffering is going to end soon as Sebastian has already discovered the reversion serum. Sarah, the famous veterinarian, stops Sebastian to test the serum directly on the poor gorilla. But he doesn't listen. He's in charge of the project and the other team members have to listen to him. The lab is prepared and the invisible gorilla is tied to the stretcher. The lab technicians Frank and Janice look after the computer results while Carter, the medical technician, assists the doctors. The serum is prepared and Sebastian injects it with his own hands. It flows through Isabel's invisible veins and spreads around his body. The gorilla's organs start to reappear at first, but then the homeostasis levels fluctuate. The blood pressure drops and the heart best becomes negligible. The doctors start giving the gorilla CPR and electric shocks and she finally comes back to life. Her body completely becomes visible and she feels calm again. After the successful experiment, the team goes out to celebrate. Sebastian walks away from the dinner table and Linda goes to check on him. He starts recalling the time when they were together and asks Linda if she ever wished to turn back time. But she has no such desire and is separated from Sebastian for good. Not every girl can stand beside an intellectual like Sebastian. After a few days, Sebastian, Linda, and Matthew present their progress in front of the military officers who gave them the project. Sebastian lies that the reversion serum is still under progress and asks for more time. The project head Dr. Howard Kramer admires Sebastian's dedication and intelligent work so far, but he's running out of patience. If Sebastian doesn't succeed soon, he'll be removed from the project. Regardless of the consequences, Sebastian kept his success a secret because he knew the credit for his hard work would be given to Dr. Howard. He has decided to do the human testing secretly and publish his research in his own name. He convinces Linda and Matthew as they will also get the credit. On returning to the lab, they lie to the rest of the team and tell them the officers gave permission for human testing because Sebastian volunteered himself. They have successfully brought all the invisible animals back to normal, and Sebastian believes it's safe to test the serum on himself now. He's confident of his skills and lies down on the stretcher. He wants to take the honor of conducting the experiment, so he injects himself with his own hands. At first, nothing happens, but then Sebastian starts shouting in pain. His skin disappears followed by his muscles, organs, and the bones too. He's totally invisible now. Sebastian goes into a deep sleep after the tiring procedure and wakes up after 17 hours. He has become really sensitive to bright light as his eyelids are invisible. After talking to Linda, he goes to tease other members. Sebastian is definitely having a lot for fun being invisible, but he still needs to stay under supervision. Sarah is in charge of tonight, and thermal cameras are set up to keep an eye on Sebastian. Once he goes to sleep, Sarah decides to take a nap too. But Sebastian wakes up in the middle of the night and abuses Sarah's privacy. When she wakes up, Sebastian has already reached his bed. The next morning, she tells everything to other members, but Sebastian explains that he only got up for a cup of coffee. For the next whole day, no one can work in the office in privacy. Janice is even afraid to go to the toilet without the thermography goggles. They all discuss their insecurities with each other without knowing that Sebastian was quietly sitting among them too. Tonight, Linda takes the shift, but Sebastian teases her too. He offers her to experience making love with an invisible man, but she refuses. It doesn't matter how Sebastian looks, Linda has no feelings left for him. The next morning, the team prepares to do the reversion procedure. 
Sebastian has been invisible for three days and it's time to complete the experiment with the reversion serum. As soon as they inject the serum, Sebastian's body rejects it and starts to behave abnormally. His heartbeat and oxygen levels drop. He can't breathe anymore. The team starts to perform emergency procedures on him and makes it heart beating again. However, Sebastian is still invisible. As he's going to be staying like this for a while, the team has to take some action. They put some clothes on Sebastian and also made him a latex face mask. Now he looks like a hollow man. For the next few days, Linda and Matthew keep trying to figure out the flaw in the reversion serum, but they fail. Sebastian starts to panic and refuses to go through any more testing. His anger is understandable. He was supposed to be invisible for three days only, but now it's been two days. Matthew argues back and calls it Sebastian's voluntary choice, but Linda takes pity on him. She assures C of taking good care of him and turning him back to normal soon. This time, the night shift is given to Carter. He was busy reading magazines when Sebastian stepped out of his room. He claims to be feeling frustrated and wants to go back to his apartment. Carter tries to stop him, but Sebastian doesn't listen and leaves immediately. He pranks a kid on his way and reaches his sweet home. He grabs some books to study and starts working on a reversion serum. Suddenly, he notices his beautiful neighbor once again. Sebastian's evil side dominates, and he decides to take advantage of his invisibility. He rings at his neighbor's door and sneaks inside. At first, he just teases a little, but then he crosses his limits and abuses the girl brutally. Linda and Matthew have been informed of Sebastian's departure, and they go to search for him. Linda reaches his apartment and finds his mask and clothes. She gets more worried and calls the rest for the team. After a while, Sebastian reaches the lab too and behaves like nothing happened. He believes that he's the leader of the project and can make his own rules. Linda gets angry and warns him not to escape the lab ever again, otherwise she'll tell everything to the authorities. Sebastian gets back to his lab room but the team gathers around Linda and asks why she joined Sebastian in his careless lie. If the authorities find out, their career will end. They also believe that the invisibility serum is affecting Sebastian's brain as he's been under its influence for so long. Meanwhile, Sebastian is mentally stable and does all the cruel things out of his own evil instincts. Linda is so scared of Sebastian that she can't peacefully sleep at night and dream about Sebastian breaking into her room. Matthew wakes her up with a call and informs about his progress with the serum. Instead of using molecular structure, he has decided to use a different approach. The next day, they test the formula in the lab, but it stops the formation at 95%. Sebastian starts cursing and blaming them again for not finding a solution. He also calls Linda narrow-minded who's not even letting him enjoy his invisibility. Linda advises him to understand the seriousness of the situation and admires progress so far. She believes that Sebastian is jealous because Matthew found a second approach that Sebastian couldn't. He's not frustrated about not having a life of his own. Actually, he's jealous of Linda having a healthy relationship with Matthew. Saying this, Linda leaves while giving the charge to Frank. Sebastian explores the thermal camera closely and gets a naughty idea. He takes some tools from the lab and hacks the camera to continuously play the same footage of him sleeping. Afterward, he gets out and reaches Linda's house. His blood boils on seeing his love with another man and he throws a stone at her window. Linda gets up to look around and even calls Frank, but he assures that Sebastian is lying on his bed. After returning to the lab, Sebastian notices the dog barking continuously. Without a second thought, he takes the life of the poor animal. The next morning, Sarah finds the dead dog and asks Sebastian about it, but he acts like he doesn't know anything. Linda checks the footage, but there's nothing in there, so she checks the cameras too and finds the bug. Sebastian has been going out every night and kept doing unknown evil stuff. Things have gotten out of hand, so Linda decides to inform the authorities who will catch Sebastian somehow. But Sebastian hears this conversation and follows Linda and Matthew to Dr. Howard's house. He agrees to handle the situation and proceeds to inform HTG the other officers. His call doesn't go through regardless of several attempts. Suddenly, he notices some suspicious activity near his swimming pool and goes to check it. Sebastian takes this chance to push Howard in the water and drown him to death. Afterward, he quietly returns to the lab and greets his mates. Linda can't stand his presence anymore and calls Dr. Howard. After hearing about his sudden death, Linda dials other officers, but the phones stop working. They decide to go to authorities by themselves, but the elevator keeps denying their passwords. Frank checks the system and reveals that Sebastian has removed everyone's access from the security system. The team fears for their lives and decides to capture Sebastian by themselves. They grab tranquilizer guns and goggles and proceed forward. Janice is gradually following her team but gets attacked by Sebastian who kills her brutally. The team returns and finds Janice's dead body in the locker. They change their plan and split up. 
Carter and Matthew go after Sebastian while others stay in the control room and guide the boys through the walkie-talkie. The heat vent is leaking and thermography goggles become useless. Sebastian attacks them and Carter starts bleeding uncontrollably. Sarah rushes to get blood bags and syringes, but Sebastian blocks her way. She throws the blood on the floor to track him, but Sebastian comes from the back to attack her. Linda and others reach there and find Sarah's dead body in the freezer. Suddenly, Sebastian comes out of nowhere, kills Frank and injures Matthew. He locks him with Linda inside the freezer and leaves. Linda covers Matthew's wounds with duct tape, but he falls unconscious from the pain. Linda also feels like giving up, but she gathers her courage and gets up. She uses the machinery there to make a strong electromagnet and uses it to open the freezer door. She lights a small fire to warm up Matthew and rush to find help. Meanwhile, Sebastian has set up a timer on a chemical bomb and gets in the elevator. Linda attacks him with fire and makes him run away. He still hasn't died and attacks back. But Matthew saves Linda. While trying to attack them with an iron rod, Sebastian accidentally gets a strong electric shock. Linda and Matthew can't discard the bomb so they decide to run away through the elevator passage. They were halfway through when Sebastian grabbed Linda's legs. He drags her down again and asks for a last kiss. Linda takes this as a chance to distract Sebastian and pushes him into the burning lab. While she grabs on Matthew and gets out of the lab, science might be full of wonders but it can be dangerous too if it gets in the wrong hands.